Hello, everybody. It's uh, time for some more heavyweight boxing as we uh, get along in the heavyweight tournament using Legends of Boxing PC game. And the round of 64, let's head to the ring and get ready for today's matchups. All right, first up, got a good one. Uh, the 10th seeded Evander Holyfield, or 11th seeded, he's 10th ranked, taking on Matt Foster, 118th ranked, or seeded, I'm sorry. And Foster's got some power. Uh, Holyfield, uh, it's got most everything else on him, but uh, Foster has got one punch power. He can take you out. He's won both his match, uh, matches here. One by knockout and one by unanimous decision. Um, Evander won his only fight by unanimous decision as well. So Holyfield out of Atlanta, Georgia, 44-10-2 with 29 knockouts. Uh, Mac Foster from Hoboken, New Jersey, he's 30-6 and six with 30 knockouts. All 30 of his wins are by knockout. And, uh, again, Holyfield will have the, the edge as far as control goes, uh, defense. But Foster will have the power uh, advantage. And uh, Foster also uh, has a little weaker of a chin. He does cut easier. And his will and TKO are a little less than Holyfield's. Uh, Finisher-wise, though, Foster, if he hurts Holyfield, he'll, he'll definitely go at him. And try to finish it, uh, and he'll have a strong chance to. We're not an endurance uh, wise Holyfield, a big advantage there. So let's head to the ring and see how if Holyfield can uh, get past Matt Foster here. Mm, let's get We're going to get some fireworks right out of the gate. Holyfield trying to get in the inside. And it's almost like Holyfield saying, I'm not scared of your punching power. He's going to come right at Foster. And Foster's attacking from the outset and aggressive uh, pressure move. Round one. And the right hand shot. Good combination. Hard right hand. And he lands a huge right hand. Oh. Leaping right hand. There he is. Good body shot with the left. He lands the left hook upstairs. Nice opening round for Evander as Foster was picked apart as he tried to come inside and get at Holyfield. The Holyfield would have none of it. And he'll draw first blood. Well, actually, Foster drew first blood as the mouth starts to bleed for Holyfield, but it was Holyfield who did most of the damage there in round one. Round two, both fighters going to the inside. Here we go. Leaping right hand. Good jab to the body. And a right hand shot. That's a hard right hand. And he lands a huge right hand. A looping right hand. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Straight right hand. Oh. Hard right hand. What an action round as 
Holyfield started out opening up a cut on Foster's right eye, but then it was Mac Foster that caught Holyfield with a huge shot. Followed it up with a couple big hooks, and Holyfield was stunned. What a round that was, and Foster exerting his uh, presence there. And now Holyfield is not shying away. He goes back into the inside mode, and Foster stays in inside as well. <laughs> round three. Good combination. Savander Holyfield. He's got to be getting some confidence as Holyfield taking some punishment here in the last couple rounds as we head to round four and both fighters staying in side mode. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. And a hard chopping left. <laughs> Followed by a cross from Holyfield as the bell rang. Both these guys going for going for it all here early on in this fight. I think Holyfield thought he would have an easy time taking out Foster, but Foster showing that he's not to be messed with. And they're again going to both stay in, inside, on the inside, here for round five. Straight right hand. Left and a right. Good combination. Good combination. Big left ten. Leaping right hand. There it is. Good body shot with the left. He lands the left hook upstairs. Good combination. But both fighters pick up TKO points. This has been a very aggressive fight from both fighters, and they've land, landed quite a few he uh, heavy shots. And uh, as you see here, t five TKO points now for Foster, four for Evander through five rounds. That's quite a bit, and Foster really feeling it as his TKO ratings are only a six. So Holyfield is in good shape even though Foster has stuck around. Let's take a look at the uh, ringside judge here through five rounds. And they've only got Holyfield up by one, 48-47. And 
And like I said, Holyfield was not uh, shying away from Mac Foster. And Mac Foster, the first to kind of slow things down here as he's going to go to the outside. Holyfield still going to continue to try and stay on the inside. Round six. Left and a right. And a right hand shot. And he lands a huge right hand. And he lands a huge right hand. Wow, that was quick. The referee jumps in and stops it early here in round six. And Mac Foster's corner is livid. They are absolutely livid. I'm surprised his mother doesn't jump in the ring and come after that referee for that stoppage. Foster. Trying to sp speak his piece here, but the referee has having none of it. He raises Holyfield's hand in victory, and Holyfield's going to win it by TKO. A minute three into round six. So all the punishment, he never really hurt Mac Foster, but uh, Holyfield never let up through the, the uh, early rounds. Punch points were not that egregious. Uh, score had Holyfield up on two of the three cards. Foster's just not happy here. As you see here, it was not but Holyfield, every round, every single round was able to put a TKO point on uh, Mac Foster. I mean, just consistent. And that's why it stopped here is the punishment by Holyfield. The referee felt it was enough to stop the fight. Oh, I would like to see, uh, like to have seen that gone a little longer. But, uh, doesn't matter. Holyfield advances to the round of 32. Next up, George Johnson, the Scrap Iron Johnson, 145th seed taking on Michael Dokes, 24th seeded and 23rd ranked. Scrap Iron with a 22-27-5 record, 11 knockouts. Out of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, he is 2-0 with a draw in this tournament. He won a unanimous decision, a split decision, and then also drew uh, Dokes. Michael Dynamite Dokes won a majority decision. I wish there was an uh, an ability, when you're playing a tournament like this, I just wish there was an ability where you could click a boxer and go strict right to his um, uh, record to show who he fought. Cause a lot of times, you, I can't remember, I fought so many fights, I forgot who they fought. And it'd be nice to have a, an ability to check that quickly, uh, be it on their picture, their their name, or something. Um but he's out of Akron, Ohio, 53 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws. 34 of his 53 wins were by knockout. And tail of the tape, it's all Michael Dokes. Uh, Scrap Iron has just got to be happy he's made it this far uh, in the round of 64. Um, Power-wise, Dokes, chin-wise... Scrap Iron does have a better chin than Michael Dokes. Um, it's not really a total. Um, both have two six TKOs um, ra rating. Uh, endurance, actually, Scrap Iron has the edge there as well as uh, durability. But the only major edge is uh, Dokes has a huge control um, so his CTN will be uh, quite a bit less so he will get more shots at uh, scoring than 
scrap barn oil. Let's head to the ring. See how George Scrap Iron Johnson does against a upper echelon fighter like Michael Dokes. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! Scrap Iron moves on the inside, Dokes to the outside. Round one. Hard right hand. Misses with a left. Hands a hard chopping left. Good jab to the body. saw some swelling go into his right eye as Dokes peppered him with some early shots with his using his jab to set up his straight right hand and Johnson already in trouble as far as that goes his defense takes a shot because of that major swelling as his vision is going to take a, a hit there and round two, Johnson stays on the inside. Dokes on the outside. Straight right hand. Hands a hard chopping left. And a right hand shot. And a right hand shot. Straight right hand. Shots in the clinch. Oh, Excellent attack. Another solid round there from Michael Dokes. But George Johnson was able to land a nice combination that got Dokes' attention. But again, Dokes able to apply the pressure as he puts another TKO point on Johnson here. We move to round three, and it's clear who the better fighter is. Joss is really going to have to uh, fight outside his body here. Now he's going to go into pressure mode, which Dope stays on the outside. And he lands a huge right hand. Too much speed. Leaping right hand. Leaping right hand. Four punch, five punch, six punch domination. Straight right hand. A looping right hand. Leaping right hand. Johnson, definitely a more aggressive this round as he was able to uh, score a little more than he has the first two rounds. But Dokes was right there matching him punch for punch. And again, he's going to put another TKO point on Johnson. That's three in three rounds. He's rated a six. At this pace, Dokes could get a mid-round stoppage if he continues to take this kind of punishment. Now both fighters go to the outside here for round four. Big left tap. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. Leaping right hand. Left. Oh, there it is. Good body shot with the left. He lands the 
and up took upstairs. Lands another jab. Leaping right hand. Hard right hand. A huge round for Michael Dokes as he punishes Scrap Iron Johnson in this round. And Johnson is starting to fall uh, back here as Dokes puts two TKO points on him here in round four, including three straight massive hooks to head Johnson covering up on the in the corner and uh, could not get out of that corner until Dokes heard the bell and the referee sep had to separate him as Dokes showing Johnson what an elite boxer looks like something Johnson's not used to seeing we had the round five and I'd like to say Johnson's got a puncher's chance, but he doesn't have much of a punch. Here we go, round five inside for Johnson. I don't know if that's a wise decision, but he's going to have to get in there to score. Not going to do it from the outside. And Michael Dokes will stay on the outside. Six punch domination. Another good round for Michael Dopes as he reopens the cut above, uh, or actually with the swelling, uh, he busted open and it's now bleeding profusely above the right eye of George Johnson. That's going to be trouble for him. He's already uh, far behind in this fight. And now, just another thing for him to think about, worry about, as he also picked up his six TKO point, and he is going to go into TKO watch here in round six. And if Dokes can jump out on him, this fight could be over. The doctors already have told the referee is becoming a problem and the referee's not going to take uh, long to decide to stop this fight. Here we go, round six. There's a hard right hand. Good combination. Keeps coming forward, stalking, stalking. That was a good jab. Chopping left. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. A looping right hand. That was a good jab. Oh. George Johnson came out and kept Dokes from really putting this fight away as he showed a little of that scrap iron nickname as he just kept coming. He knows he's getting beaten to the punch every time almost, and he just keeps coming at Dokes. He gets through the TKO watch, and he lives to see another day. We head to round seven. Johnson stays on the inside, Dokes to the outside. 
stop, 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 stop. A looping right hand. That was a good jab. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. The missed with an uppercut. Good jab to the body. A looping right hand. Michael Dogues unable as he starts to tire here in the late middle rounds, unable to put scrap iron away here in round seven. We head to round eight. Right now, it seems like Johnson will see it as a win if he can take Dokes the distance. We head to round eight. Johnson stays on the inside, Dokes on the outside. Four punch, five punch, six punch combination. Back. Left and a right. Hard right hand. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Hard right hand. There's a hard right hand. So Scrap Iron puts the first TKO point on Michael Dokes here in round eight. After absorbing all that punishment, he had enough in him. But Dokes comes back late in the round to make it close as he landed a hook that put uh, Johnson on the ropes. And before the bell could ring, he could do, or after the bell rang, he could do no more after that. But again, Johnson Plowing ahead here. This guy living up to his nickname. And we head to round nine. As now, Dokes in level one fatigue. And his power slips to a two. Here we go. Round nine. Again, Johnson on the inside. Dokes on the outside. And a hard chopping left. Oh, hey. Another jab. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. Body shots in the clinch. Ends a hard chopping left. Oh, hey. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Body shots in the clinch. Hard right hand. George Johnson does it again as now Dokes really start to slip here in his performance. Uh, he, he allows Johnson to outscore. I think this might be the first round he's outscored him in the entire fight. He had punch points as Dokes was not uh, very visible that round. We head to round 10. Again, Johnson stays on the inside. He's been living on the inside. Dope stays on the outside. Hard right hand. There's a hard right hand. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. That was a good jab. That was a good jab. Big left tap. Hard right hand. A looping right hand. Michael Dokes. 
got a second win there in round 10 and was able to score early in the round, but then he started to tire and Johnson came back to make it closer. He just can't seem to pull away from George Johnson. We head to round 11 and I am shocked that it's made it this far as Johnson has, like I said, lived up to his nickname as he's given Dokes some frustrating uh, challenges here. Now, for the first time in the fight, Johnson goes to the outside. Dokes stays on the outside. Round 11. Straight right hand. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. Hard right hand. Shots in the clinch. Leaping right hand. Straight right hand. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. Now Michael Dokes. It looks like Johnson's finally given in. He knows his uh, now his job in now for him is just make it through one more round. To at least say he went the distance with Michael Dokes. That right eye, they continue to work on it each and every round. It's, it hasn't been giving him too much trouble over the last few rounds, but uh, one punch and it could be all over. As far as that blood, if it starts to start coming again, you know they're not going to take long to call it now, seeing as it's clear who's won the fight. And Johnson, not giving in, he's going into pressure mode. Dokes stays on the outside. Round 12. A looping right hand. Lands another jet. And he lands a huge right hand. Four punch, five punch, six punch domination. like Warriors trading shots. It looked like Dokes might have had Johnson uh, in trouble midway through the round, but uh, every time it looked like it was over, Johnson landed a big punch and kept the fight moving. But again, this might have been <laughs> for not being a close fight, this had to be one of the most entertaining fights as Johnson fought just as his nickname, as his record, as his ratings uh, indicated. He fought just that way with uh, a lot of courage as Dokes was unable to take him out. We had to the ringside and we head to the official judges for their final scoring. It's unanimous, of course. 118-109, 119-108, and 118-109 for the winner by unanimous decision. Michael Dynamite Dokes. So Dokes, an easy win for Michael Dokes, but a fun one as George Scrapiron Johnson made it the entire fight. Dominant performance for most of the fight for Michael Dopes. He will advance. Not the most impressive performance, but it, he did what he was supposed to do, and that's win, and win easily. So, we head to the next fight. 
Greg Page, 26 rated or er, seated and 26 ranked. Greg Page taking on Thad Spencer, 120th seated. And uh, Greg Page out of Louisville, Kentucky. He is 58, 17, and 1 with 48 knockouts. He has fought one fight in the tournament, and he is 1 0 with a TKO win. He'll be taking on Thad Spencer, who's 2 0. He's out of San Francisco, California. 32 wins, 13 losses, 1 draw. 14 of his 32 wins were by knockout. And he will, looking at the tail of the tape, be uh, behind the eight ball uh, from the start. Control wise, slight edge to Greg Page. Defensively, P Greg Page has that there. Power wise, Greg Page has the uh, advantage. Uh, chin, Page, cut, Page. Will and TKO, a slight advantage for Page. And endurance, Page. So. Page definitely the favored of the two fighters. Let's see how that works out. Greg Page. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! Greg Page, Dad Spencer, round one. Page on the outside, Spencer on the inside. Spencer on the inside. Left and a right. There it is. Good body shot with the left. He lands the left hook upstairs. Straight right hand. Stop, 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 stop. Body shots in the clinch. Leaping right hand. Spencer trade blows there in round two. Page, though, had the first big shot of the fight as he knocked Spencer into the ropes with a big cross. And he stunned him with that punch. Spencer looks like he's fine, though, as we head to round three. Page stays on the outside. Spencer on the inside. Upstairs. Too much speed. And he lands a huge right hand. Body shots in the clinch. Body shots in the clinch. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Good combination. Misses with a left. Round from Greg Page as Spencer struggled to score that round as Page came out strong early and then used his defensive dial to frustrate Spencer the remainder, remainder of the round. And round four. And 
both fighters go to the outside. He misses with the right hand. And he lands a huge right hand. Ducking, sliding along the ropes. Good jab to the body. Another jab. He misses with the right hand. Misses with the left. That was a good jab. Slow moving round there as both fighters struggled to score. Spencer kind of got into a defensive style there. to be an exciting round. We head to round five. And both fighters stay on the outside. Big left tap. And a right hand shot. Keeps coming forward. Stalking. Stalking. There's a hard right hand. Drops Spencer here in round five. He got right back up though. And let's see if Paige can try to finish this here in round five. There it is. Good body shot with the left. He lands the left hook upstairs. You know that this stuff is coming all the time. Four punch, five punch, six punch domination. He missed with an uppercut. Good jab to the body. Unable to finish, but he scored with some big shots and had Spencer hurt here in round five. We head to round six. Page stays on the outside. Spencer going into pressure mode. Four punch, five punch, six punch domination. Keeps coming forward. Stalking, stalking. So, 
He's really going to have to be careful here. And he's going into pressure mode. Page stays on the outside. He misses with the right hand. And the right hand shot. Left and a right. Ends a hard chopping left. And he's got it hurt. That's it. The referee jumps in, and that's it. Spencer is taking too much punishment here in round eight. And the referee stops it. A nice performance from Greg Page. As the referee stops at 55 seconds into round eight. Let's take a look at the scorecard. And... Uh, punching... Points, uh, punch points uh, definitely goes to uh, Page. I'll nearly doubled him up. And scoring wise, he was up on all three cards pretty big. So, a good performance from Greg Page. And he wins it here by TKO in round eight. So, so far, we've seen the favorites win easily fairly easily uh, next up is going to be Jack Sharkey taking on Gene Tunney but I think I'll wait for the next episode for that one uh, Tunney against Sharkey a couple defensive masters and uh, Sharkey could give uh, Tunney some trouble We'll save that for next time because I got a feeling that one's going to go the distance. So that's going to be it from here. Thanks for watching. And we will see you for the next episode of the Heavyweight Tournament featuring Legends of Boxing PC.